This rally, this rally in Radical, R-A-D, the 50% that we have seen in the last 24 hours is very dangerous. It's dangerous to jump on this because it's led, when we look behind the curtain, it's led by the very heavy weights. The whales are buying in. Let's look at the number of holders based on different thresholds. So when you look at the number of holders that have at least one token, right? So a token is currently $4 roughly. This is relatively flat, right? Not much is moving. When you make the cut off at 100 tokens, we had a bit of a sell off, but now also relatively flat. Then we look at 1000 tokens. So that's already 4000 USD. This is going up slightly. But when we look at the 10,000 tokens, this is actually at an all time high. Okay, so all the other token holder graphs, they were not at all time highs. Maybe retail is relatively close to it, but once we go to 100 tokens or 1,000, it's rather going down. But 10,000 tokens is creeping up. And that's a problem, right? When it's the whales that buy into something, they might be dumping on you. So in other words, people simply just jump on this. They increase the price, generate a lot of attention. So probably the price appreciation is also the reason why you search for this video. Price increases, generate attention, and simply just by pushing up the price enough, you will get enough retail people over time that buy your bag. Now, fundamentally, Radical is interesting. It's basically a GitHub, so a code repository that's decentralized. Right now, when you work with a group of people on a project, you have to host the code somewhere. And GitHub, for example, is now owned by Microsoft. So if things really hit the fan, then Microsoft could, in theory, just block any kind of code repository. It will be very hard to collaborate on a common base. Radical decentralizes this, right? So the hosting of the code is done in a decentralized way. I tried to figure out, is there another reason why the price is going up? When you look at the community, there is activity, that's all interesting, but there is no discussion around the coin price. So when you check here, why is red pumping? Discussion regarding the token pricing is discouraged, especially in the Zulip server, which is reserved for technical discussions. And there are active technical discussions here. There are regular commits, so code contributions by the community. Unity. So this is an active project with a very unique selling point. The circulating supply is currently at 50%. So in the future, double of the tokens might be hitting the market. But that's really not my main concern. My main concern is the attention that this price increase generates. When you look at this in the past, right, whenever trading volume here shot up, and that was to similar degrees to right now. Whenever this shoots up, the price goes up, and then trading volume comes down and the price tends to deflate. Currently, we are at similar levels to August of last year. So attention is the same, price increase is massive, but once the whales sell, once they are offloading and the price isn't rallying that massively anymore, if it just stalls for a little bit, then all of this will turn around. So fundamentally, the project is interesting. The tokenomics don't look too bad, but right now under the current circumstances where the whales are buying up the token, generating all this attention, I have to pass, unfortunately. It's very hard to find altcoins that over the long term outperform. It's rather better to even bet on falling prices for altcoins in aggregate. So instead of trying to find the needle in the haystack, why not bet on the haystack in general doing worse than Bitcoin and Ethereum? That's what I tend to do in the premium membership. So I'm discussing strategies around betting on falling altcoin prices for especially the coins that have weak tokenomics. So if you're interested in generating alpha that way, check out thebitcoinstrade.com. More information is also in this video over here. Looking forward to seeing that video and thanks for watching this one. Bye-bye.